Capsule Part 2! Ten sixty six. Ten sixty six. Ten sixty six. The great schism happened. Oh, interesting. The great schism. I wasn't. Oh, you're not done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, interesting. Interesting. In ten sixty six, uh, marked the middle, the middle of the Middle Ages, uh, where there was a depression in. The amount of artwork being produced and creativity. In uh, 1066, actors in society were uh, the equivalent of lepers. <laughs> they were outcasts. Uh, uh, yeah, to build off my um, amazing, smart colleague, Rekha, um, in 1066, it was like the middle of the Middle Ages. So it was like, oh, like we're like we reached the middle. Like, <laughs> are we, like, are we doing enough? Like. <laughs> like, did we reach our goals? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, are we ready for this chapter of the Middle Ages? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. To build off what my esteemed colleague Jake was saying, um, actors were really, they were like, they had, they had to be in their own role kind of. It was really mm -hmm. hard for them to even find an audience for some of their performances. They were only really able to ever perform for each other. No one wanted <laughs> <laughs> In 1066, uh, being a Gregorian monk was an esteemed thing to be because people love Gregorian chant so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to build off my esteemed colleague Jordan, um, the modern day equivalent of like a Gregorian monk is kind of like a rock star. It's like a very cool, like you love know, <laughs> the chant. Like you wanted to be a Gregorian monk. <laughs> um, in 1066, getting the plague was a terrible fear. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, 1066, the torture industry experienced the renaissance. <laughs> uh, to build off of my esteemed colleague Reka, Gregorian monks often would travel from monastery to monastery. When they did, they would provide a, a scroll of food items and other amenities that needed to be adhered to every uh, place that they were going to perform, or they would not perform their Gregorian chants. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> to build off my esteemed colleague Ariel, um, the Middle Ages were the you wore around your entire head, and you just had to be, like, asleep until it was done. <laughs> 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 it was a lot of drugs. I can build off my esteemed colleague, uh, Jake's point, just now, about the orthodontic industry. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it was <laughs> 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 so that everyone who was, like, a sleeping, ugly duckling, <laughs> worth it. Because, <laughs> wow. When they got out, it was... I mean, they might as well have been a Gregorian monk. <laughs> 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 so, like, uh, um, 
Jake made a point earlier about um, the torture industry. Mm -hmm. Not a coincidence that in 1066, torture and orthodontia were like both booming. <laughs> um, actually, like the two most, like the leader of the torture industry, like was, you know, like sort of related to the leader of the orthodontia industry, and like they had like a little feud happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, intense oh. feud. Yeah, a little few. No, excuse me. And in 1066, of course, uh, William the Conqueror did a lot of his conquering. Conquering, being William. <laughs> uh, learning fact about William the Conqueror, he was born William the Conqueror, his father gave him the name, so he felt obliged to conquer. <laughs> and to build upon that, like, the rest of his siblings just felt like really inferior to him. Like, regular name. John, Samantha, and... <laughs> um, 1066, the year of the middle of the Middle Ages. 1066, the year of widespread confusion about the plague. 1066, the year of the Great Schism. We all know what that is. <laughs> 1066, the year of Gregorian Rockstar. 1066, the Torture Renaissance. 1066, the year of the ambiguous dresses. Mm -hmm. 1066, the year of uh, successful orthodontia practices. <laughs> <laughs> we now present to you the year 1066. Thank you very much. Being, but it's just one piece and it dangles. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it, brother! You made a garment without intent to wear. <laughs> I did, brother. Have that. Out with it. Well, <laughs> someone's got to wear it. <laughs> it's quite comfortable. Something's not... Exactly right. <laughs> I put it on over my clothes. <laughs> Brother, the, you're. <laughs> you mustn't change in public. The children are always watching. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, <laughs> is there something you want to say to me, your brother? I feel like there's... Brother, I support you in all your endeavors. I'm simply trying to support. You needed somebody to model this garment, and I sacrificed myself to be the first. Now, I could look quite silly, okay? I am the first of my kind. Wait, I think you should put it on now. Change it again. Change it again. Change it again. Children, go away! Go away, children! No, never! <laughs> Brother, hasn't your wife given you a space all your own? Mom left a while ago. She was tired of me fiddling around with garments and I had no idea what I was doing. She left. <laughs> Down. 
Well, Karen, that sounds really fun. That sounds like you did a great job. You got the skin of a lion on you. That's like a beautiful. I have multiple pelts underneath. Wow. wow. You to keep warm. Oh, oh William, wow. the William the Conqueror, thank you. Come into our home. Please, Absolutely. come into our home. You guys seem like you have a great We're weary travelers. <laughs> We do, we do, we do. Oh, I think we might have a little stool or something you could sit on. Yes, that's a tiny stool. <laughs> Karen, are you, are you okay? Uh, yeah, this is nice. Just give me the signal if you're a... Uh, I got a mouse. I got, 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 I no, no, William the Conqueror, we have we have an entire roast for you here. We have um, like, uh, just like a bucket of meat. Bucket of meat. <laughs> and and, 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 and with, 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 uh, sensitive stuff all around, just as sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take allergies? People are confused as to why I'm alive. <laughs> Schism, schism, schism. It's in the ether. It's in the. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
up. You know, what are reactions? How are people feeling yeah, yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah, your highness, your highness. I hadn't heard anything about the Great Schism, and then today I like like binge read all this information, like Great Schism, Great Schism. I'm like fully caught up now, so if anyone wants to discuss the Great Schism. Like, <laughs> yes, and this yes. is the forum. We're in the forum. We're doing it now. Yes. I think uh, when discussing any schism, yes. uh, <laughs> it's important to first ask ourselves what caused the two parties to schiss in the first place. <laughs> interesting point. Interesting point. <laughs> now, if we had to think, what could cause two parties to schiss? <laughs> if I had to formulate a list, if I had to posture, if I had to quantify, what could cause two parties to schiss? What might I say? What any any spitball me something? You know anything you can think of? Yes, yes. Oh, greatness. Yes, Stevius. Greatness. Greatness. <laughs> oh, do elaborate. <laughs> I just know we are. I, I just want to speak for. I think I speak for everyone when I say we are definitely presently undergoing the great schism. The great schism. <laughs> and I just want to say we uh, first. In terms of factors, <laughs> factors of key, factors of key, factors of factors. Uh, I think Greatness. that in terms of the, the Great Schism, we've been covering the Schism part quite sufficiently, oh. and the Great part expansively. <laughs> what about the the part? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think that means that the Great Schism does in fact exist. It is the, it is real. Mm. It's happening right now. Truly. Also, it's singular, so when you say the Great Schism, we don't know what you're talking about, of course. That's <laughs> true, that's true. It's a proper noun. It's a pro- this is new information. We're creating, <laughs> creating a history. This is fantastic. Now, guys, I have the room for about 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I like looking out the window, so what? Jordan, it's you now. <laughs> what? what? You, you can't have to play. Mom, you can't just make me the play. <laughs> I love you, but goodbye forever. <laughs> Mom, I'm not the play. Come back. I think you guys are the play. Hi. Dad. To be honest, I think we're all a little paranoid. I was conjecturing earlier that you were the plague. I was freaking out. And now that I think about it, it doesn't make any sense that I'm the plague. We just chose me for no reason. You said cough, cough. I'm not feeling well. well you're not. <laughs> Mom, you're back. I'm out. <laughs> so much, Sire, uh, for meeting with me again. I know I'm a disgraced torture artist after the teeth twister kicked off a craze, but I think I have some ideas that will shock you and excite you. Go on, torturer. I'm listening. <laughs> the first, a sort of suction device. You take an obese person for the crime of gluttony. You s insert the device directly into their stomach or fat collections. And then you pull this lever to suck okay, it okay, out, okay. leaving them a shell of their former selves, very similar but without all the fat. Torturer, you know me as your king, big fan of torturing, on the whole. This may be just a touch too far. It sounds insanely grotesque. I can't imagine that anyone and anywhere would ever abide by such a thing happening to their own countrymen. Ew! <laughs> fucking children are just... <laughs> I understand. Okay, I understand. I'm with King, damn it! When I say kill the children, I expect you to fucking listen to me! I'm sorry, it's all. I sold all my little bill stubs to all the other town inhabitants. You can't come in. <laughs> But I see it, Mom. I see one of them. Is the cutest one back there? <laughs> you darling. <laughs>